Today, we are going to take a look of the Nikon F2T or F2 Titan camera, arguably the most rugged 35mm SLR camera. In 1970s, F2 is Nikon's flagship and is most professional's choice of cameras. F2 is best known for its ruggedness, meaning it can take all kinds of abuse. Now, here is the normal Nikon F2. To make the F2 even more rugged, Nikon made this F2T. T stands for titanium metal. The difference between a normal F2 and the F2T is that the former has aluminum alloy shell, whereas the F2T has titanium metal shell. So these parts are made of titanium. Titanium metal is as hard as steel, but weighs only half of that. Thus, F2T is harder than normal F2, but lighter. F2T was developed in 1978 when the famous Japanese explorer Naomi Yomura wanted the camera for his North Pole exploration. Yomura would travel 770 kilometers in 57 days in North Pole, and he really needed a reliable, tough camera. So Nikon developed this F2 Titanium tried its ruggedness by pulling the camera with a sleigh through a series of stages. The lens would be knocked badly, but the camera wouldn't. F2 has interchangeable viewfinders. The plain non-metered finder is called DE1. There is no meter in it. Other finders has, find, has, has meters in it, and they are called DP1, DP2, DP3, DP11, and DP12. For example, this is a Nikon F2SB with a DP3 finder. It has a meter in it. This is a Nikon F2 AS with DP12 finder. It is also a metered finder. However, with the titanium version, there is only one finder, which is DE1, that has no meter in it. If you see an F2T with a DP11 or DP12 on it, that's not the original combination. The original F2T only carries a titanium DE1 finder. To distinguish the name of a normal aluminum DE1 finder, some people call the titanium finder DE1T, but DE1T is not an official name, so we can just call it titanium DE1 finder. F2T has two versions. One has 
a Python name on the front, and the other has no name. The Titan name version was for Japanese market only and has serial numbers starting with 79. The no name version was available internationally and has serial numbers starting with 92. However, there are exceptions for the serial numbers. There are about 4,700 Titan name versions and about 4,800 no name version produced. Thus, both versions are collectible if in great shape. The layout and the handling of the F2T is exactly the same as the normal F2. So here is the shutter speed selection dial. This is shutter release. And this is film advance. To open the camera back, you have to use the latch at the bottom. And here is the lens release. By the way, this is the so-called tick mark lens. It has tick marks on the distance and the aperture scale. It is a highly collectible lens. So this concludes our introduction of Nikon F2T. Thank you.